hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to cook fish so if you're new here feel most welcome let us get started with our video of today so over here I have already cleaned my fish I sun dried it a little bit I wanted it to drain all the water for 30 minutes so today we are making fish stew so I'm going to remove all that I don't need in this fish but as for you, you can leave it. As for me, I don't need the extra thorns, so I'm going to remove them. I hope you get to learn something and enjoy watching this video and to try this amazing fish stew recipe to your friends, your family, or you yourself. So after removing all that, I'm going to cut a little bit of at the tail end. Yes, I don't like it. So I will remove it and go right ahead and start cutting my fish into pieces. The returning subscribers thank you thank you so so much and to the new subscribers feel most welcome kindly turn on your notification bell so that each time i post a new video you get notified and to my premium gang thank you so so much for always showing me the love support sharing my videos leaving beautiful comments you are an awesome group of friends i really appreciate that and thank you from the bottom of my heart so guys as you can see when i'm cutting it doesn't have a lot of water because i've already said i uh sun dried it a little bit it is very clean yes It was so big so I had to cut it into four pieces yes that's how you cut it because the bones are a little bit sharp they can hurt you so you need to be very careful when handling fish In this channel we make local Kenyan authentic food and sometimes we go globally and make any other food. I always follow the simplest procedure that anyone can try to cook who doesn't love cooking at home and the best thing about cooking your own food at home is that you are, uh, have the power and you're at liberty in using any kind of spices that you wish rather than the food that you get from a restaurant so you can see our fish has a lot of yeah meat And there we have it, yes. So after cutting them, I'll put them aside. So over here I have my uh, tomatoes, capsicum and garlic, four pieces of garlic. I'm going to blend them. So this is a, a very, very good way of preparing your fish, especially if it is um, a fish stew. I'm going to blend all this together. So after blending them, I will put them aside and start frying my onions. On a pan, add your oil. Go ahead with your um, 
onions. After they are perfectly cooked, you go in with your tomatoes. We are going to cook this. Let it cook for um, six minutes. Yes, on low heat. When I cook, I'm not always on a hurry. Go in with your uh, salt. Yes, a little bit of uh, yellow paprika curry powder we are going to mix those ones and let them cook this is a seasoning cube so the reason why also we are adding our spices at this particular point is that I want all the um, the spices to cook with the tomatoes so that when I put my fish uh, we already have all the spices uh, cooking and we have that aroma that we need to get inside the fish because this is a white fry fish yes go in with your water so once the water has boiled you I'll uh, put my fish like that i hope until at this point you get it to enjoy and learn something from this simple recipe yes we are going to cook this one for 45 minutes or an hour on low heat guys after 45 minutes let's go in and check sorry about that it has very good aroma yes as you can see it is cooking cooking so so good but uh, the soup is still light I need it to be a little a bit thick so I'll go in with milk yes milk you had me one cup of milk and look at that beautiful color so I'm going to let this one also cook for another 15 minutes and then we'll serve our fish it will be ready by then guys you should try this amazing recipe I guess you'll enjoy we let it cook for 15 minutes after 15 minutes yay look at that guys the soup is thick the aroma is so 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 good so once you cook your uh, the fish is perfectly cooked it will separate just like that you'll see oil and the soup separate that one means it is perfectly cooked and you can serve it with ugali with the fufu cassava or rice yes it depends with what you desire to have it with I'm going to turn off our stove and serve our fish So guys here is our fish it is so 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 yummy the aroma is so good i hope you get to try this amazing recipe and thank you for always coming back to watch my videos i hope you try it out and kindly tell me the feedback thank you so much for watching see you in our next one bye bye